Anyways, what is up today? Um, 240 is getting the suspension arms finally they got here aka this video is gonna be another eBay special so uh, I got the arms right over here fucking eBay special dude I'm actually pretty stoked about it though um, regardless that they're eBay special because they're still gonna do what I need them to do and I can adjust my suspension and fine-tune it and get it more solid the only problem I'm gonna have is if it even break and if they do um, Luckily, I know somebody that can weld really, really good, so we'll just weld them back together and reinforce them, and da 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 But I'm going to put these on today, because the other thing is, too, after changing my outer tie rods um, in one of my last videos, uh, I haven't gotten alignment yet. I mentioned it in the video, too, so after I get these, I gotta get an alignment done. I'm going to try and get to that today, but... I might get done pretty much about the time when places start closing, you know, business hours and all. So, I got my GoPro in the car. I'm going to put my GoPro on while I'm under the car. See how that turns out today. By the way, I did get a shoulder mount. So when I'm driving, it's going to be literally at the window. So it should be way better. You won't see my fucking liner the whole time. I guess um, for those that don't know, uh, I should probably explain this real quick. These big blue ones, those are the front. Um, traction rods, I believe. Uh, I don't know if that's the right name. The curvy ones are the rear control arms. Tension. Fuck, I forgot the last one too. Anyways, it's it's a, it's pretty, it's the full suspension kit that you know can adjust everything. So, toe camber, all that shit. So, yeah. Okay. This is how I'm gonna record my audio because uh, yeah. I'm gonna just set everything on, on Reed's hood. But yeah, I'm gonna just set this down, I don't know, fucking somewhere out of the way. Kinda like right there. And I'm gonna go ahead, grab what I think I need, which is a 19, a 17, maybe an 18, maybe a 19 wrench, but I think, I don't know where it is. So, actually, I'm gonna probably move this like right here instead so it doesn't like bump and stuff. Okay, so, let's take a look here. Oh, buddy. That's definitely like a fucking 16. What the fuck was I thinking? Oh, so right here is a... That's a 17. And the other side is also a 17. So I need to go find a 15, a 16, something like that. Because this whole time, I was um, definitely... Trying to disconnect the wrong thing. That's the fucking end link for the sway bar. Oh, that bitch is swole. <clears throat> oh, yeah, buddy. Swole tight. Swole tight. Swole tight. <clears throat> oh, fuck. So, what am I supposed to just pop these out and fucking put these in the uh, ruins, or do I need to get new bolts? Because they didn't come with bolts. At least I don't think so. Dude, the oh my god. Well, it doesn't matter. Replacing this would have been a good idea with pretty much anything. So when I'd say like, dude, seriously, when I buy like, when I buy parts, people are like, oh, why don't you buy ISR? Why don't you go through and Juku? Buy pretty much anything I can find. Cause when this broke like this, like when this bushing is fucking gone, gone, it doesn't matter what you get. Anything's gonna be better than whatever's broken. So yeah. Um, that being said too, I actually wanted to get the GK Tech, uh, since I'm on the topic, I actually wanted the GK Tech stuff, but they were back order to like June of next year, and I was like, yeah, I ain't waiting a year. Anyways, so, got that off, get the other one off, and then I'll install those. Yeah, I had to go get new bolts from Ace because the, they didn't include, um, hardware with it, which I didn't, I'd never expect any with eBay shit, but anyway, so I got... A new bolt, <clears throat> and I even got lock um, lock nuts. Um, I could probably use those ones, but might as well just, you know, fucking put better shit on it, I guess, if I'm, since I'm just <clears throat> replacing it anyways. Um, so let me go ahead, grab two of these. And it doesn't really matter which way it goes in. It's flat on both ends, so. We'll get back under. That's fucking cool. Ah, fucking eBay shit. 
One of the reason why I hate eBay shit is because more than half the time you're gonna have to like make make it work. So let me see if I can angle the camera here. Oh my god, I got this just super tight. Okay, so I, I wonder. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it on camera, but pretty much, yeah. Yep. It's too fucking small. In there, so. Uh, that's so weak. That's so fucking lame. Because these are important, and you need them on there. They're pretty much like um, the fucking bushings for this whole setup. So, um, uh, where's the hammer? So we're out. Oh, we're just gonna go ahead. that out a little bit oh hey oh yeah I'm still leaking oil from the bung I'm going god damn it little smackaroo yep. and there you have it good old fucking smack now what I need is my scissors I'm gonna cut that fucking No proof footage probably looks like Dookie. I'm sitting on the bullet, aren't I? Yes, I am. And now we gotta go in. Oh, pfft, that was butter. Okay, cool. Moving on to the back. We got this arm right here. This uh, camber arm. Or fucking whatever that is back there, too. Anyways, they're all coming off. Um, the cool thing is, it's all 19 millimeter. So, all I need are these fucking things and bada beam bada boom um, so just like the front I'm only gonna do this side take it off and then um, yeah that's about it so I'm gonna just crack all these loose and then take each one off individually so hold tight don't bash my knuckles please don't bash my knuckles please don't bash my knuckles holy fucking Christ that thing is on there. Oh. I figured as much. I'm gonna probably need a PB blaster. Ugh. Holy fuck balls. <clears throat> that was cool. New plan. Because. Here we go. So, I'm gonna go ahead. Oh my god. Yeah, buddy. Where is the fucking long ass like I had? I always just use these deep dish for like literally everything. Because. There we go. Dude, I'm gonna slip and I'm gonna fucking... Fucking OEM bullshit. Dude, holy shit. Swole tight. Um... We might run to the store and grab some PB Blaster. I just didn't want to fucking go anywhere. It's a pain in the ass going anywhere right now. I thought it was going to be easy to get this off. Just break them loose. But nope. So, we're just going to cut to them. You can hear it. You can hear it. Where is he? Uh, so many people, myself included, and Reed, just come to this back parking lot in the school and just fucking swing it. I mean, that's actually a pretty sick line right here. We kick in right here, munch this little part, swing around, munch out. It's it's pretty sick. But uh, most people just come, they do a couple donuts and they leave. I was trying to catch them. 
Well, I literally went inside, grabbed my camera, and I was trying to catch him, but I can only hear him. I was gonna, you know, probably make him YouTube famous, maybe. Who knows, maybe he was the guy that made my video viral. Use his car coming in. Ah, thumbnail, oh my god, drifting, ah! Um, so I got the arms out right there. Those are the old ones. These ones weren't too bad. I'm filming on the Sony because uh, I'm not gonna get under my car right now, so, and I like the audio on this, so. Uh, this long one, the camber arm, and the traction arm. I think it's what it's called. I forgot what the long one's called. I should look that up. Anyways, um, these are all. These actually weren't all too bad. Like, yeah. I mean, I guess those are has some cracks in them. Um, right up top. Oh my goodness! Right up there. I mean, these arms are fine. But you know, just the fact for the adjustability aspect. Um, so we come over here and take a look. Yes, PB Blaster is your friend. Um, also, my exposure is kind of low. And uh, so let's take a look here. The way I took it off, that made it really easy. I was trying to start from right here with the small one. I figured that would be easy, but it's really tight space. And it's easier with all this stuff over here out of the way because then you can get your ratchet in there. Um, if you got a small enough impact, you can get an impact in there too. Uh, so I took this one off first, which is the long one that I don't know the name of. The camber arm, which is right up here, and then the traction arm, which is right there. So, uh, working on cars, the way you take it off is the way you put it on in reverse. So I'll start with the small one, and then I'll put that one on, and put that one on. And uh, it's pretty simple. It's two bolts. I have them kind of organized. Oh, you can't even see it's so overexposed. But I have them, um, the two that go right here, go right there. So there's one up here, one back there, one right there, one right there, one right there, one in the back there. The one down here is a bit of a bitch because it's right behind the cover or this, uh, what is that, subframe, I think. Yeah, on the subframe. Um, instead of just being on like little bushings like this. Um, so bit of a pain in the ass to get that one on the camera arm getting that one off was a fucking nightmare um, the back bolt it just did not want to break loot I was almost stripping it um, what I ended up doing was I took my breaker bar and took my breaker bar and uh, I actually tightened it to break it and then loosened it afterwards and it was pretty easy after that it broke loose pretty quickly after I tightened it even more um, so that's how I did that and now I'm just gonna put everything back together. All right, so it is currently uh, July 4th. So happy 4th, everybody. Um, hopefully nobody blows their fingers off tonight. But um, I wanna finish this up today before I go do my 4th plans and stuff. So anyways, real quick before I continue more, I'm about to put on the camber arm here. You can kinda see, let me see if I can zoom in without losing like focus. Oh shit, of course. Anyways, so you can see, I'll just zoom out all the way out. You can see it. Um, this arm was actually pretty simple to get in. You have to like push on stuff to make it line up right. This one, I took my measuring tape, measured it with the OEM one. So it's the same size. And then I slapped it on that way. I'm, I'm putting everything on, you know, OEM, uh, OEM spec, just so when I go to the alignment place that I go to, I can give the guy the, um, the specs that I want and he'll do it for me he's done it on my BMW um, cool Russian guy anyways <clears throat> the camber arm however is I did it uh, I lined it up uh, measured it did my tape measure thing with the OEM arm and it, the uh, aftermarket one because you know eBay um, was just a little too small so uh, I tried pushing on it because you know it is camber so I was trying to like push back to like see if it would reach and it still wouldn't really reach I mean it did but it wasn't like it was a pain in the ass so I loosened it way more and then shoved it in so what I'm gonna do right now thank god the Sun went away it was really bright there for a second um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go get my tape measure I'm gonna measure it inside and then lining up pretty even with the other one because you can see I, I took my tape measure um, right here and I lined up with the OEM arm right there with this one as well just like so throw it in on the other side however probably gonna have the same issue um, it, it is what it is it's eBay shit that's just how it that's just how it goes with eBay stuff so I think even with like decent arms too you still have to do some mathematics behind all this so yeah I'm gonna measure that uh, meant to make a mental note of that measurement and then make sure that this one 
reaches the same. That way my alignment or my camber in the rear is um, just as like even as it is right here. So I'm gonna get this on and I'm gonna get the last arm on and then I'll cut to us having the car on the ground, see how she sits. All right, so all the arms are on. Um, that one was super easy to get on. The problem was, the problem with this one that I had was, uh, I'll leave my mouth, but um, the, I guess, bushings in the back there were off. Like, there was so much room back there that they were just sliding on the bolt. And whenever time I would uh, go to tighten it, they would like pinch on the side and just wouldn't seat in. So, the only thing I had to really do right there was to bolt that back side in first before I can even get this on so I can hold the two bushings together so when it did start to compress I can then let go and start bolting this up. But that was about it. Not too much of a pain in the ass. It was actually pretty simple. Putting these on pretty simple. Um, one other thing I am going to mention too before I do the other side and then lower the car is that I, I uh, there is a torque spec for all this and I just followed um, since you know it's eBay, they don't come with really instructions. But like, if you were to buy G Tech or maybe even ISR, I don't know any other brands, um, they would have came with like what they needed to be torqued to. And I kind of just went off of uh, uh, OEM spec and forms, and everyone said anywhere between like 70 and 90. So I just I actually torqued all these to 70, and then the two up front I torqued to 75. Um, so yeah, so there's that, and. Yeah, so just make sure you torque these down so you know they don't back out because that would that's gonna suck, you know. So, anyways, I'm gonna finish the other side totally off camera so I can just power through it and then we'll drop the car and see how it looks. Damn! All right, look at that. So, you can I think I had a video, or at least my last video I made on my car. I had a picture. The thumbnail was the car. The if you guys have me on Instagram too, you would have seen it. This wheel was like in, you know? I didn't even put spacers on. And now it's starting to poke a little bit. So, I and I got 25 millimeter spacers for the rear, saving them for the kit. And that's big news, but later. Um, right now, we can see it's almost perfect. It's, it's gonna be hard to tell on camera. In fact, it's just a little bit out in the rear. So, like, you know, toe, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, I'm going to get under, I'm going to adjust it, but this is what it kind of looks like before I set it on the ground. It's hard to tell on camera, so I was just going to do a video with it on the ground, but I, I, I put that wheel on, I was like, holy shit, that actually looks a lot better. So, I'm going to get under, uh, adjust this wheel, and put the other wheel on, adjust it, and then set it down, and, and, and kind of go from there. Alright, I'll finish, I'm tired. I gotta get going. Dude, I just realized the time. Anyways. It's done. Um, now it looks good. I'm gonna try and shoot from the back, but the sun is, like, you're, you're gonna see something right in there. But anyways. Like, it looks good. It, it needs an actual proper alignment. I just, I eyeballed it. It looks good. It looks even. I mean... As long as it's good enough, I'm gonna I'm gonna drive this tonight, and you know I'll I'll test drive it and stuff too before I go. I'll, I'll drive it around the block. Next video, I don't know what it's gonna be actually. Today's the fourth. I work. Um, I got some other stuff going on, but we'll definitely do a driving video next. I got my shoulder mount for my GoPro, so hopefully I can do a better like in camera view kind of thing. So next video will definitely be the alignment. Actually, now I think about it, that will be the next thing I do with the cars, I need to go get the line, and then after that, we'll go drive it, um, and then I should probably start actually looking into fixing the oil issue, oil leak issue that I have, so, yeah, that is it for today's video, uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, I hope you guys learned something, I always learn shit with all this eBay stuff, so, um, I'm gonna keep buying it when shit just breaks, uh, eventually I'm gonna upgrade all the eBay shit that I have, but, you know, right now with funds being as limited as they are for this kind of build, um, it's just, it's just not in the budget right now, but it will be at some point, you know, later down the road, of course. Um, so yeah, see you guys on the next video, and with that, have a good 4th of July. Okay, bye. <laughs>